Hey guys, Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel here. Uh, well, I've got a new park today. As you can see behind me, we're at Retta Husky Park in Meridian. And we are going to uh, take the Mavic Mini up today and kind of look around this park. Now, in this part that we're at right now, you can see there's some play structures. And then over here, there's some pickleball courts. Uh, but this is kind of an unusual park in that it's... Uh, it's got some long corridors. It kind of follows the path of some uh, irrigation canals. And those canals now, for the most part, are underground. Uh, but it's uh, it's kind of an interesting looking park. So we're going to go and kind of, uh, we you know, there's a lot of people in this area that I'm standing at right now. But we're going to walk out uh, a little ways and uh, see if we can get the Mavic Mini in the air and kind of give you an overview of what this park looks like. Okay guys, I've got the uh, Mavic Mini ready to go. Uh, we're going to uh, do a, a hand launch here. So doing a hand launch is uh, a little weird with this guy. So you, you end up having to kind of hold the controller. I hold it in the crook of my elbow. I hold the drone uh, up high and then hit uh, takeoff. And then you got to hold that button down. So we'll just hold it down. Take off. The home and the drone just updated. takes off out of Please your hand. Check it on the map. Bring it down here where you can take a look at it. Let's uh, let's bring it in for a quick look. Yeah, I'm in P mode. I'm going to put it in uh, cinema mode here, so we're a little bit slower. So let's uh, rock it back and forth so you can see that gimbal is working like it should. Let's bring the drone around here a little bit, and uh, we're going to do uh, a uh, an up and away shot, our manual droney. This will be a fairly short one because we've got some uh, 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 construction uh, or some groundskeeper vehicles behind us there, so we're not going to go over the top of them, but reverse and up. And that's probably about as far as we want to go there. And you can see the groundskeepers off in the distance over there. Uh, what they're doing is they're, they did some edging around the side of this walking path and they're cleaning it up. So the reason I wanted to show you this park is that it's definitely an unusual shape. So we're gonna take a look at this thing. And that's a drainage ditch you see there. Anybody that's familiar with uh, irrigation knows what that is. And, uh, and this, we're going to stay right on the green belt here. I am going to grab some altitude because I won't, don't want to bother anybody since we have houses close by here. Let's grab a little altitude. And we're going to stay over this green part and... Uh, Stay away from where the uh, groundskeeper vehicles are, although they're all working down here. But you can see that this thing extends. It's kind of an unusual shape. It extends all the way out to, uh, to 10 Mile Road. Which is interesting. I just thought it was a, it was a good use of available space. Okay, so let's, uh, let's turn around and there's a, there's a, we're going to go up the drainage ditch. And you're going to see another part of this that's kind of interesting. Doing some more road construction over there on 10 Mile. We're staying well away from that. And then so uh, the drain ditch here, we're going to stay on this side of the drain ditch. Or actually see if we can go right down the middle. Let's grab a little more altitude. Whoop. I tend to over yaw with this guy. Yeah, we're up about 60 meters. Okay. So let's go straight up the ditch here. And it looks like uh, they're doing a little bit more uh, construction. If I was a betting man, I'll bet you they're going to plant grass on the other side there. And I'll bet we get a footbridge or something across the, uh, the drain ditch so that people can access it. And we're going to stay 
kind of over the top of the drain ditch here and, uh, and we're going to move forward and kind of show you this walking path. This walking path that we're looking here, I don't believe is part of the park. I'm willing to bet that's part of the uh, what the subdivision provides uh, for access to the park, probably a walking path through the subdivision. And like I said, we're going to stay, we're staying over the top of the drain ditch here so we don't bother anybody. Uh, and we're not going to go too far up here, but I just wanted to show you this. You can see where the, you know, the street is, goes across the, uh, goes across the drain ditch there. And anybody that knows Idaho, uh, that is Eustick Road that you're looking at right there, that main drag. Okay, so we're going to turn around. And that other park you're looking at there, I believe, is a subdivision park, so we're not going to mess around with that. Uh, we're going to stay well away from that, but we're going to turn around and we're going to come right back, the, uh, right back down that same drain ditch. And we're going to avoid housing, and we are going to avoid where these workers are cleaning up. It's interesting to watch them uh, do the edging. They just kind of peel it up and, and clean it all up, and then they shovel it up. It's uh, interesting the way they do that. Very efficient. Okay, so as soon as we get back over uh, the body of the park here, uh, we're going to we're going to show you another part okay so we're kind of over the center of the park here and we're not going to go over those play structures but i want to show you uh what they have down there you can see my red dodge durango park down there uh but they're uh what you're seeing here and we're not going to go over the top of it is uh uh those are what, what looks like tennis courts or actually pickleball courts and it looks like there's nobody there so you know we probably could go over that but i'm not gonna uh you, there's also a little uh half basketball court there and 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 uh, restrooms so let's go we're gonna go off to the other side here and show you the other part to this park again i just feel like they made really good use of the available land here so yeah, we're about right here. Move sideways over the top of it. And that's the other thing I want to tell you about the, uh, the Mavic Mini is that it is so easy to fly. And we're going to get off to our right here a little bit because I see somebody coming down the trail. Whoop, we went too far there. I had a little uh, hitch in FPV, delay in FPV, and I went further than I thought. Okay, so there, I am confident that we're over the green belt. There we go, and we're going to go forward here. And you can see the shape of this thing. And there again, uh, I, I think this part that we're over right now, I think at one point was an irrigation ditch. And what it is now, the, 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 the irrigation water is now in a pipe underwater. So there's still a ditch coming down. And I'll show you how we can tell that here in a second. So let's rotate back around and we'll come back. Yeah, we're getting low on battery here too. So we're going to have to bring it back here. We're down to Battery 23%. level is low. The aircraft will go to the home that. point in 10 seconds. Okay, let's get it in gear here. And let's just come right back the way we came. And as soon as I get over the main part of the park, we'll get back, uh, we'll, we'll bring it on in. Uh, but if you look down here, uh, right before the pickleball port courts, you'll see a couple of uh, little structures there. Let's see if I can drop the gimbal down. And those control irrigation. If you stand by those, there's grates on top and you can see the water running down there and there's a pipe under there. So yeah, it's telling me low battery. We're gonna we're bringing it home. You can see me down there. We're not very far away. So let's uh, let's bring her in. Whoop! I'm gonna put it in. 
Well, it's not letting me change modes here. I wanted to put it in uh, uh, C mode. Return to home promptly. That's what we're doing. So we're bringing her down here as fast as she'll come down. Okay, let me pick up the camera here a little bit and uh, bring her in front of the cam in front of the uh, Osmo action. Make sure that we got it here. Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can do a hand landing here. We're gonna put my hand underneath and just hold the stick down and put it in landing mode. Landing. So there we go. We are in. Uh, we just did a little hand catch there of this little guy. Uh, let's shut off recording. Down to about 12% battery. That's one thing you always want to remember with this guy is to shut off recording. So uh, let me get it shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey guys, uh, the good old uh, Mavic Mini. Uh, what a phenomenal little drone this is. And the reason I'm, I'm uh, holding up the case here is uh, I just want to remind you what, what a phenomenal value uh, the Flymore package is. Three batteries and the, uh, the, the charger uh, that gives you at least about 75 to 90 minutes of flight time, depending. You're probably not going to get 90, which, you know, I think they claim 31 minutes or something of battery. But you're for sure going to get 25, at least I do. So that gets you to about uh, uh, 75 minutes of flight time in one kit. Then your controller there and your drone, and it's just in this convenient uh, little package that is so easy to carry around. This thing is just, uh, uh, it's so compact, and just in a situation like this where I'm out in this park, I walk out here, it's just very easy to carry, very easy to mess around with. Uh, so uh, then the other thing I wanted to tell you is, uh, one, of my, uh, one of my commenters was telling me the other day that DJI has modified this case, and uh, let's see if I can hold it up here hold the drone and hold it up but right here this lump right here that's the part of it that people have had issues with uh, deforming the props on their mini uh, my understanding is they've modified that so that it doesn't do that uh, my solution uh, has been this little device right here that that holds the uh, that holds the props in position so that they don't uh, they don't get uh, stuck on that uh, on that part of the case. What happens is, as long as your props are in this position, they're not going to get deformed because they're not going to go down to that part that's, that's, that would be down here in the drone. But if you don't have this, it's so easy for your props to fall down. You've got it in the case, it's in the case for a while and they get deformed. So that's kind of what that's all about. Just thought that was worth mentioning. Uh, anyway, kind of a cool flight uh, today. So I was, it's always fun finding a new spot. And I just thought this was an interesting park. Uh, I think, as I mentioned earlier, uh, one, the, one of the groundskeepers that's in charge of uh, this park and two others, I see her over at Heroes Park all the time, told me about this place, so I thought I'd check it out. And it's just unusual the way it's set up, the way it goes down the irrigation ditch that then they put underwater, and then the drain ditch on the other side here that we kind of flew uh, up and down. And, uh, and then interesting that they have those pickleball courts. And I came out here early this morning and I did not fly because there was a ton, the parking lot was full. There were, uh, uh, looked like retired folks like me playing pickleball. And if you don't know what pickleball is, think of tennis in about half the size. It's a little bit different. They looked like they had tennis balls, but a little bit different paddle. 
But the court itself is probably a half or less size than a regular tennis court. And boy, they were they were taking it real serious. Uh, and then a little bit of a basketball court there and, and uh, uh, some uh, play structures and stuff for the younger kids. Uh, but anyway, I just thought it was an interesting use of space that the city had available to them. And I applaud them for being this kind of creative. Uh, so anyway, I hope you found that was interesting. Uh, interesting, And the little Mavic Mini is perfect for this kind of flight because it's so unobtrusive. You know, people look at this little guy and they don't get too carried away. It doesn't make a lot of noise. It's pretty quiet. Uh, the other thing is the DJI flight controls, you saw it's so precise. You can place it exactly where you want so you can stay away from right over the top, like in this case, staying away from right over the top of the walking paths, etc. You know, we went right down the, the drain ditch here and, and so forth, and it, it works really well. So uh, anyway, this guy is just, I think, an underrated piece of technology that has been overshadowed by the wonderful Mavic Air 2. But if you've got 400 bucks, I'm telling you, this is the drone. This is the one because the, the video quality is phenomenal. You just don't have the issues with it that you might have with some of those other drones. You know, the only exception is going to be, and Ron Brown and I talked about it the other day on Drone Nation, is there are, if you're in windy conditions all the time, you, you know, you could get those wind warnings. But as you saw today, we didn't have any of that. So uh, in any case, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I really do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And we absolutely will see you on the next one. Bye now. Little Mavic Mini. She's a gem.